you like this color? Mm. Mm hmm. It's perfect with the bird, the hummingbird. Mm hmm. Do not break it. I won't break it. This one doesn't have a bird. You're afraid I'm going to drop it, aren't you? <laughs> How pretty that is. Troy, you did a really good job on these. Troy made it. We started for our son, Troy, who makes pottery. And we came up with a name because he would make pottery and people would say, who made that? And we would say, Troy made it. And so we were trying to think of a name for his company and we just kept thinking, Troy made it. And that's kind of how we ended up with his name. Troy was born with Down syndrome and he's always loved to draw and he just has a sense of space. He can see something and he can just draw it. I can't do that. He'll draw for hours in a day. So he's always loved art. And then from there, it just kind of progressed into pottery. My husband and I, we just sold our company. And so we were newly retired and we'd always wanted to do ceramics. So there was a new pottery studio in Carson City called Ogre Homes Pottery. So we called them and signed up for a wheel throwing class and then asked if we could bring Troy with us. And they said, absolutely. So we brought him. And they said, well, why doesn't he do hand building while you're throwing? He can take the class as well. So Troy took a class. He really liked it. And then that Christmas, we decided to make some ornaments, Troy and I, for family and friends. And we had extra. So I thought, I'll just put these on Facebook and see if anybody wants to buy them, and we'll donate the money. And so they sold out in 20 minutes. And then everybody was asking for more ornaments, so we made more. And then they all started asking to buy his pottery. Holly, my daughter's girlfriend, said, I want to start an Instagram account for Troy. And I was like, no, don't want to do that. I don't want him out there. I don't want anyone saying mean things about him. I don't want to do it. And so she convinced me that by putting him out there, you're showing other families the capabilities of people with Down syndrome, that they can do a lot of different things in this world. So then I was like, OK, but I really didn't expect it to do much. And then it just snowballed from there. I'm new making um making um plates, making um, balls, I'm making hearts, making um, Christmas ornaments, making um took trays. First he gets a bag of clay. Then he cuts the bag of clay, and then we have a slab roller, and he rolls the chunk of clay out in a slab. And then he has forms, or he has real leaves that he gets out in our yard. He has slump molds. It all depends on what he's going to make. And then he cuts out whatever he's going to make. And then he puts it on the form. He has it dry, and then we put it in the kiln to bisque fire, then we take it out, he glazes it, and then it goes back in the kiln, and then it's ready to go. One coat, and two coats, and third coats. Then we're put in a kiln, comes um, minutes, comes to dry, then comes being very nice. And he just can't keep up with the demand of People wanting his pottery, we wish we could, but he's only one guy. <laughs> 100% of Troy's pottery, the profits from Troy's pottery are donated. And this year we donated $18,000. In total, he's donated almost $30,000 to different nonprofits. I do help people making making um monies from charities that makes me proud 
When Troy posts a new video and we get comments from people on how much they appreciate his videos, they just say the nicest things about how good he is and how proud they are and how awesome his work is and how inspirational he is. And so we read all of these comments to him. Wow, looks so great. I hope by people seeing him doing what he's doing, um, that they're seeing that people with Down syndrome have value, that they can contribute to society, and that his life has meaning. I say, Mom, I say, thank you about help me, um, Carrie.